Honored guests, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremont suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty! Your no Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment! It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our liege's reign will never end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Are you the one? Aha! I thought I recognized you.
I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Take pity on me, sir. Injuries pain you. Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we you ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. is quite cluttered. Pray leave. A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Shield 
shields offer welcome protection from attacks. Boulders, barrels, and the like can be effective weapon never combated. When delivering targeted strikes, I would recommend clinging to your friend. could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Great. Keep your distance, Arisa. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your... Still, I can hardly believe it. A griffin of all things here. Add to that the recent dragon sight. It is said that the arrival of the Sovereign portends an age of peace. Yet only trouble has followed. I had thought being in the Border Watch would make for easy work. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir! You'll be needing it! If you find your strength flat, try the cure to or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes, let's guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Where are you going? There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word.
Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie. This is all. The Watchhead would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like, a for- What? You've no memories, you- Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of... Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Tis the name given to fates chosen. Those destined to command the pawn, even with your memories lost to you. I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well.
dead on my feet off the space like train. a bit of excitement in my life. Going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodge. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Hoi there. You seem well, my pa always used to say. There's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've... Much more to offer. You shan't hear me complain about an early rep... Hey all. you were sold? We've had to start sending out new recruits. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I... Aye, I expect he will. Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for... What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on it. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just... Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? Tisn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks, and a cop. We must make haste if we are to arrive. in time to assist.
we may not die in battle, but it's a far cry from being invincible. Wish for me to remain here. It is easily done. <laughs> Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking rather lost. It is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate.
this moment forth. Thou art risen. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. Twas I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on, and by some miracle, it's arisen. I'm afraid I does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. What say we gather some information? Have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well. If I, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for... will be ashamed to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You do that? Suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for... We could make the fruit robberant ourselves, or simply purchase some at Rune's Apothecary here in Melv. Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robberant for me? Oh, 
Well, if you do... Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you ready? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Tis a vacation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fight. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Tis a vacation for those who seek to master. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, should you dedicate yourself to a vocation? Try them as you like. Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to... At close range, however, a bow is nary more useful than a walking stick. Aye, very well. There is no wrong choice. But I shan't take up any... New who found strength courses through you. It is good to see. They do say good things come to those who wait. Mayhap tis time I went looking for them. Yet if all were to befall him, I, I couldn't live with myself. Can't now. Where was I headed? At the seas. Strange. What am I to do? He really ought to have returned by now. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Tis a vacation for those who seek to master the dag. Thieves favor light armor. Their talents depend upon their finesse, and tis a vacation for those who seek to master. However, the more powerful the spell, thus a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without. Tis a vacation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. I am a fighter myself. And should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Very well. There is no... But I shan't take up any... So this is where you've been. Come with me to the... Who might have the answers we need? Uh, shall we ask around? We need not to have returned by now. Mayhap tis time I went looking for. Ah. 
Ah, you've returned. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. so soon. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claim. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not as token of one. Regardless, do well not to invite my mistrust. For a moment I thought I'd met my end. Oh, my thanks to you, Arisen. And before I forget, how curious that none of our party are archers by vocation. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? 